Okay, I think we're operating now. Let's go to question seven. If he was in contact with the floor for 0 0.057s and his initial velocity was zero and his final velocity you computed in problem five, with what force did he push? Well, we know what that is. That, this is just our impulse thing. This is the impulse. So the impulse, so on seven, his impulse, whoops, you probably want to see what the heck I'm doing. His impulse is equal to the average force times the change in time, which is equal to his mass times his final velocity, which you, this is known, this is known, and this is known. So to compute that force, you take that mass times the velocity final and divide it by that time. And you got that. So you're cruising. All right, so now eight. The instant LeBron's leave the floor, what is the magnitude of the acceleration acting on him? As soon as he leaves the floor, as soon as his feet, you know, as soon as they're just, you know, a, a billionth of an inch off the floor, what's the acceleration? All right, and then last but not least, knowing his initial velocity from problem six probably should be, Yeah, from problem six. I, I kind of screwed this up. So this would be from problem, this one would be um, from problem six to on seven. Okay. Now, knowing his initial velocity from problem six, let's think about how long he was in the air. Aha. His initial height was zero and his final height is zero. Yay. Thus, we have this equation and we know how to do this. You factor. Homer will help you. All right, you just factor that out and you will find the hang time. It should be between 0.88 and 0.98. I'll tell you that. All right, have fun with this. Have fun with this, you know, and feel, feel like you've really accomplished something when you get done with it because you have. You have. All right, so out here.